working to gain that for all children, no matter their challenges. Denise Ozan says she always knew there was something different with her son, Jackson. When he was probably about two, bringing him to the neurologist here in Lafayette, and probably over the course of almost two years going back and forth, we, like you said, we knew that something was different, and we were in speech at the time and several other therapies, and we were getting a, a push from the insurance that we needed a diagnosis and we were ready for a diagnosis because without that we felt like we just couldn't move on in our personal lives. Countless doctor appointments, testing, it would only confirm what Denise says she already knew. Jackson was autistic. But she says she had to get a diagnosis. It was the only way to continue getting him the help he needed. Autism is very expensive. I mean, you kind of, as a parent, I mean, the thousands of dollars that we spent you know, going to different doctors and trying to get a diagnosis and insurance not paying for most of it. I mean, it really had an impact on our lives. Now a happy 13-year-old, Denise has another worry, acceptance. Being a male with autism, with limited um, resources, modifications that are made in society and the standard is for, is for him to be in society and function normally, but there's rarely a chance for that. So I worry about his his day-to-day -day life and where do I see him in 10 years from now. Denise says she just wants for Jackson to have the same opportunities as any other child, even if they may look a little different. A person with autism only wants what everybody else in this life wants. They want a friend, they want a ride, they want a job, they want a place to live, they want a feel of independence. Mm -hmm. And I want that for him, and that's what the goal will be, and I'll keep working on that for him. And, you know, Dave, Denise's is dreams are the same as any mother, right? That you have acceptance for your child and that your child can grow up one day um, and live their life as, a, as an adult with no judgment from anybody. And, and those folks that are living with autism, I know they want to be independent too, don't they? You're right. They do want to be independent. You know, they want to live on their own. They want to have that job. And sometimes um, that just means maybe with a little assistance here and there. Um, Mr. Paul is with us right now. Um, and you're, you're an advocate here. You're a board member at Autism Society of Acadiana. Um, you know, for adults with autism, finding that job, that is something that gives them that independence. Yes. Yes. It makes them feel part of the community. It makes them feel like they are participating the same as everyone else mm -hmm. and that there it gives their lives meaning it's therapeutic in of itself to just be given that chance you know and and why some, sometimes it may look a little different for them with hours and things like that great rule followers they know what yes. they want to do they i mean everything is done to a t yes ma'am yeah so definitely given a chance that's all they really need yes ma'am so um, there's going to be a job fair that's coming up. Can yes. you kind of talk to us about that? It's going to be in August. We tried to do it last year, but um, it was canceled because we planned it before COVID happened. But we're trying again this year, taking all the necessary precautions and steps we need to to ensure everyone's safety. There will be a date that it will be dis determined later, but it will be in August. It will be at the UL Student Union. And we're looking forward to finding any and all people who are looking for dedicated workers that just want to be given a chance, mm -hmm. whether it's fast food, delivery, sales. I mean, we, we just, we want to, we need help helping them. Right. And we also want to help the community by helping businesses that are opening up right now and looking to fill whatever positions they have. Right. So if there is a business out there that wants to take part, um, is there a number that they can call or somewhere they can go? Yes, yes. If you look at the Autism Society of Acadia in a web page, you'll find their contact information or on their Facebook page. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for being no, here this morning. No, thank you. We do appreciate it. And, um, you know, we're going to have all this information posted over on our website, katc.com. So you guys make sure that you go and check it out. And then once we get a firm date, we'll make sure to let you guys know. Dave, back to you.